I don't know how well you can see it, but next to the grass over there is a brown snake, one of Australia's most venomous. The birds around it are going fucking mental, trying to pick a fight, which I do not recommend. Oh no, it's an innocent geriatric. Look out, dickhead. Veer left. Don't go. Oh, he boots it in the guts. The snake is in shock. There's a standoff now, and the old timer kicks it in its fucking face. Nothing is coming between this bloke and his 10 a.m. mid-strength beer at the Bowls Club. He is moving like a cat. Agile, no fear. Look at him now. He's like, I don't want to be late for my date with Barbara. Fucking watch it, Sonny. I was concerned for this old wanker when he dawdled in from the left, but he gets such a quick, confident kick into the snake's belly, it leaves me wondering why I did ever doubt the... And then he follows up. Bang! Massive kick to the snake's mouth. He has ninja-like precision. Fucking timing. Look at that. Jackie Chan needs to get this bloke in his next action comedy. They'd be a sensational duo. And the snake, the snake knows it's defeated. He knows he's fucking got it. He was in World War II. He knows when to show the enemy mercy. He doesn't need to go for a full-blown execution. The snake is going to piss off to its dark lair and rethink its actions. Well, he goes in to drain the main vein, grab another shandy, and have a chat to Barbara. He gives hope to all old people around the world. You do not need to go quietly into the night, into your deathbed. I have finally found the missing ingredient in my empty life. Bloody hobby horses. You don't need to feed them. They don't shit everywhere. Fuck real horses. You can get all your mates together and hit the town. This fella is like, follow me, honourable gentlemen. Let's go pick up some chicks. These young ladies have decided to start a posse. They're going to help local police clean up the city. I reckon they'll do a better job than the Punisher and even Batman. You gotta be dedicated though. These agility courses are where you'll learn most of your tricks. This Sheila is building up to a steady gallop. She burns round the corner. Here's a massive jump and another one and another. There's a hard left and the horse is going too fast. If you're not in it for the thrills, kills and Sunday pills, you can just focus on doing a bit of prancing. The judges fucking love it. Yeah, this is still really good exercise exercise for you and your horse. You might even win a trophy. Oh, you can even go through the water. That's it. I'm getting a fucking hobby horse. Who's with me? Who's in me posse? Come on. Howdy, cat. I'm just here for me toy. If you don't mind, I can grab it and then I'll be on my way. Uh, you know, you don't need to supervise me. I can do it independently. I am a big boy. Uh, or I can come back later. I can book an appointment. Although I really shouldn't have to book an appointment because it is my toy. It was a Christmas present. Sally and Tom love me. There's nothing I can do about that. They just, you know, maybe you could let, maybe you could help me or you could move or either way you could just stop fucking staring at me because it's making me a little stressed. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. I panicked panicking is a very human trait that was uncharacteristic of me. So yeah, I mean, you're not using the toy. I could just, I can just, oh, I can smell it. Oh, I can fucking smell it. Just let me have it. I mean, it's my toy. It's my toy. Yes, I got the fucking toy. See ya. This is the sport where grown men are praised for smashing their remote control cars, aka paradise. Look at the fucking focus. This fella could end up with a backache. Unfortunately, his robot gets shit mixed into the wall. Seriously, Minotaur has no gadgets. Blacksmith has a hammer. Oh, I take it back. He can fucking electrocute wankers. Blacksmith is now discombobulated. He's like an undisciplined erection. No shame in whipping it out all the time, but has a terrible hit rate. He manages to get Minotaur cornered into a double pounding. Blacksmith loses a bumper though and runs away looking for a panel beater. He is absolutely shitting bricks. He finally gets a hit, still shits bricks. Minotaur chucks a Yui massive hang time. You know, he's more like a cockroach than a fucking Minotaur. Blacksmith simply cannot crush him. He needs a pest control button or a big shoe. Oh, he's lost his hammer head. He's left with nothing but a dodgy, flimsy stick. Minotaur's driver is frothing at the mouth. He is out for blood and scrap metal from this point. He says, oi, blacksmith, how would you like a ticket to destination? Fuck, and there it is. He explodes the cumbersome game over. Back to the garage for some upgrades. All he can say is... Fuck, as he watches Minotaur show off with a bunch of handstands. What a bloody focused athlete.
Is that a chew toy or a living creature? Fuck, I've slid in. I didn't want to go this far in. Oh, holy shit, he just blinked at me. That's definitely not a toy. I repeat, that is not a toy. It's one of those reptilian lizard mother that descended from dinosaurs. He's got to eat me alive. He's making the water rise using only his mind. I have to get the fuck out of here. Actually, I have to try not to panic. I need to calm down. I think I'm panicking too much. Doug is tired of living in a restrictive magpie society, so he's gonna shake shit up and he instantly garners attention. Chad is like, what are you doing? What do you call this, you dickhead? Doug is like, I don't know, I just made it up. Oh, you just made it up, did you? Fucking fancy bird with an imagination. Did the committee approve this? Oh, get fucked, Chad. Get fucked, he says. What about the time you turned your feathers into a mohawk? That was individuality. Nah, get down. Don't fucking peck me. Get down. Nah, 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 oh, for fuck's sake, you're annoying. I'm doing this for your own good, mate. Oh, why is everyone's idea of fun swooping humans? Can't we do different shit? Have a gander at these skills with a rifle. I can do this shit with a broom or a rake, but I haven't tried it with a firearm before. Oh, he passes it to his teammate. That's good. Good unselfish sportsmanship. This guy is going fucking mental, absolutely showing off to the tourists, hoping to get laid, and there's the pass back, and they've made a mess of it! This is awkward! The show-off is like, I'm just gonna slowly move towards it. Sure, I don't have my camo gear, but if there's no sudden movements, the tourists won't notice. I've left my posse. The payload has been retrieved. Good, 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 good. And now, same thing going back. Here we go. Oh, fuck, fuck me dead. Keith, I'm just gonna come over and hand it back to you, mate. I'll buy you a new one, or we can steal one from the enemy. Whatever, I need a pint. Welcome back to the bloody Netherlands for another big marble race. Today's track is epic as fuck. Plus the sun is shining, there's very little wind, it's perfect conditions. I don't know about your balls, but mine are tingling with excitement. Down at ground level, the athletes are greased up and ready to roll. Place your bets now. Three, two, one, and they fucking bust out of the gate. Everyone appears to be going slow and steady early on. Pine Lime uses his fat ass to block Two-Face on the bridges. Over to camera two and we can see that Green Swirl is running away with the race. As we know, Greeny has had some family tragedies off the track and he really wants to dedicate a win to his late mother. One ball that's happy to shit on a sentimental, meaningful victory though is Pine Lime. All Pine Lime has to say is, how did she die again, mate? And he's taken the lead. But Greeny won't go down without a fight and he rams Pine Lime. He tries to yell out at your mama's so fat joke, but he stutters and breaks down. The fella is in tears. Pine Lime malevolently laughs his way down the track. Hopefully this log crushes him. Bugger, he made it. Fuck, I hate him. Here comes Two-Face. Oh, he makes a big statement by punching out the camera. He's catching up using Mario Kart shortcuts. He uses all his mushrooms for acceleration, but Lime is a slippery bastard to try and overtake. Two-Face gets right up his ass. He can basically lift the citrus from the crack. But yeah, nah, he just can't get in front. As we know, Two-Face is a lot more cautious these days. He's had a lot of concussions. This brutal sport has made him dead from the neck up. Lime comes to a fork and he crashes! Holy fuck balls! Two-Face is too dumb to take the underpass. They're bogged like a couple of dickheads and here comes the rolling Dutchman. He's more than happy to scoot underneath them. This wanker got his name from rolling fat joints in the cafes of Amsterdam. He has never ever won a race. I don't think he knows he's gonna win this one, but what a marvellous effort from the rolling Dutchman. And here's Rainbow Heart. She's flying down for second. Even Greeny manages to come in third. The crowd goes wild. An attendance of 28 people. Fuck yes. Look at these blokes. Absolutely losing their shit. Contemplating flashing their titties. What a wonderful day in the Netherlands. It is dead Dead serious over at the ping pong. Here is a massive yet delicate serve, some gentle returns, but now shit is fucking speeding up. Nigeria is under the pump, Singapore is coming hard. Both men are very experienced when it comes to handling their paddles and balls. The Singaporean has a ferocious wrist action, while the Nigerian has a little more rhythm. They're now saying fuck you, nah 
fuck you, nah, fuck you, nah, fuck you. And it truly is a battle of endurance. This is no whimsical backyard party game. Oh, there it is! I believe we are in one of those states some Americans call a flyover state. I don't know if that's code for fucking shithole. Anyway, there's an angry bull. This is going to be exciting. The humans want it to play a game of soccer. Instead, he says, eat a bag of dicks. He tries to pop the bubble wrap force field thing, but it's a no-go. The ball comes back into play. Only one dude gives a shit. Well, another player takes a flight to destination fucked. Wowee. He wanted a holiday. He packed his bags, renewed his passport, and the bull fucking delivered a business class ticket. Accommodation, all meals inclusive. Honestly, I am still trying to figure out how humans have made it all the way to 2017. We are a special group. Here we have a Sheila enjoying her yoga. She's managed to attract quite a crowd. Sure, it's a very fucking confused crowd, but it's a crowd nonetheless. She closes up a massive spready and tries a new position. This one goes off in front of giraffes. The cows don't give a shit though. They are as snobby as a fucking Cannes Film Festival audience towards a Netflix movie. She decides to confront them with a complete 180 spready to the gods, but they're like, Look, we just want to eat our lunch. Maybe try the horses down the road? I reckon those fucking show ponies would love this. She wants to try one last move to win them over. Look at her back bending. As a human, I say 10 out of 10. That is fucking brilliant. When I think of myself as a cow, however, I don't know. It's hard to know what just happened. They appear to be paranoid, suspicious, and confused. I would argue they are as bloody frightened as that time they found a turtle in the paddock back in February. Many of them still cannot talk about that day. So yeah, overall, I don't think these cows will adopt yoga and handstands into their society. They don't like change. They don't like new things. And they probably just don't fucking have the skills. Or do they? <laughs>